I'm Chorpsoy. I'm the J of Spade. I'm Cheok. And I'm Future Friends. And I can't believe you had me go last. Just go up on my channel, you dorks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little suspense for the folks out there. Anyways, welcome to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Oh yeah, so uh, we're doing like a little duology here of uh, two JoJo games. Now, uh, uh, Chirps provided this one for me. That's right. And to start off, what better than the six minute long opening cutscene to explain <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3 Stardust Crusaders. Is okay. this gonna be in a duology with the 50 Cent duology? <laughs> yes. Those are all the same universe. It's a spiritual successor. <laughs> That's because my stand is in the club. I do like that for this entire cutscene, Jotaro is like a little like peak of Jotaro is going to be staring at us this entire time, reminding us <laughs> not to start shit. <laughs> That's right. Start shit. Yeah, this cutscene is presented at ultra widescreen. Yeah, like Jotaro <laughs> is here, so like me and Trump won't like devolve into a fist fight. <laughs> This is a very uh, unfortunate after all. I don't know what you're talking about. I think he looks great. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Dio. <laughs> I'll explain all of this in due time, but this is still just a cutscene. I'm not doing anything at this part. <laughs> okay, cool. If I do, it takes me back to the menu. <laughs> you know... What is going on? Let's have a little backstory, because people are no doubt going to be asking us, oh, why are you video peeing a JRPG? Uh, uh, it's because we're fools. Uh, because yeah. I'm J. Uh, well, the big backstory is here that, like, I mean, we're like, we should LP, like, a part three game and a part five game. And then I was like, I don't want to be good at a fighting game. Let's just do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> And that's absolutely fair. Plus, I think that this one has, um... I'm gonna say some interesting elements to it. Right, like the the fact that Abdal is wearing all white for some reason. Is he going to a wedding <laughs> yeah. later? Uh, no, it's a uh, Labor Day. Ah. <laughs> As you can see in the screen transition, I moved the jail backwards. This is some Mega Man X ass music. Yeah, I was about to say this music uh, never seems to fucking stop. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's good. Which is really good when you just have these people standing there silently without any motion. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a fan sub to project by the folks at Aeon Genesis. I think this is a pretty old uh, translation patch for like a Super Nintendo game. Uh, and as such, it's insanely buggy. Uh, I believe actually if you start this cutscene and end it early, like certainly in the emulator I was using, it would just like crash the game and you couldn't continue. How cool. do you mean end it early? Like, like if you start. press start during this, oh. it'll just, like, skip the cutscene. Smart. But, like, the art in this is actually, like, pretty detailed. Like, looking at this and kind of stuff is, like, it's kind of neat. Yeah, like, they could have just made, like, a generic action platformer or beat-em-up for the Super Nintendo where you fight through Egypt. But you... They, look at all this work they put in. They're explaining the entirety of the JoJo storyline. <laughs> I don't know. I uh, do feel like this photo here is just something they scanned and probably digitized. <laughs> uh, you know what? They could have done that. They could have made it a visual novel. Hell. <laughs> oh, God. I can't tell oh, which no. hand that is. Is that the right or the left hand? Uh, it's both of them. He has them on top of each other. <laughs> and, like, the fingers are just covering. Hey, uh, Dio, they say if your uh, hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer. <laughs> Dio is hanging out in the capital of Thailand. <laughs> I feel like if about three-fourths of your face is missing entirely, cancer is kind of the least of your problems. 
I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing, and that star just looks like one of the spots in the ground you dig up. Yeah. Okay, calm down, you freak. <laughs> We're not discussing <laughs> that game in here. Well, if you take a shovel to it, it does pop a stand out. <laughs> Is that like a YouTube channel you can subscribe to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Arg! <laughs> My grandpa's body! <laughs> <laughs> oh, also Holly's here now. Yeah. Uh, she was here before the log exposition started. I like that she's just... Is she even taking all this stuff in? Absolutely no, not. She very, she very much just has that expression of like, uh-huh, yeah, sure, dad. Uh-huh. Oh, boy talk. Yeah, I'll let you stay, whatever. When are we moving you to the old folks' home, dad? God, imagine Joseph in, like, a retirement com- community now. He's just, like, bench-pressing all the other retirees. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, as you guys sit down on this bench, and he's just, like, pounding, like, two or three of them at a time. <laughs> he's like, ah, they keep putting on reruns of, um, uh, the F Troop. I want to watch the MTV. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure for the Super Nintendo. Oh my it god. Is an adventure game and an RPG all rolled into one. As you can see, they got the classic like part three like shoulder pads in on the Super Nintendo. This looks like a mid 2000s sprite comic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta say, I'm a real big fan of the Jotaro with his back turned slightly backwards. It looks like he's checking out, like, I don't know, the Mona Lisa or something. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, this game has a lot of systems, and the one, um, (laughs) Joseph was trying to... And the one Joseph was just talking about is the biorhythm, which is, like, the least understandable stat. Basically, like, this game takes place over several days, and each day you kind of have, like, a different stat spread. Like, you're better at some things and worse than others on different days. Oh my god. Stands are just horoscopes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, biorhythms are just one of those, like, weird pseudoscience things that's can't really be fully understood because it's complete bullshit. Wait, what the fuck? An aluminum cap? Is he afraid that aliens are gonna get him? Yeah, and he puts it underneath his regular hat. He needs to protect (laughs) his biorhythms. His hair also (laughs) sticks out. Hey, Jotaro, did you know if your uh, blood type is uh, A positive in Egypt, you're weaker? (laughs) (laughs) So, the chain... (laughs) (laughs) Uh, That rules. Uh, The chain on Jotaro's collar, that's connected to his wallet, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's how you know no one's ever going to steal from him. Also because he's just huge. (laughs) So, does Jotaro ever actually talk in this game? Uh, yes. He talked in the intro. He was like, I'm never leaving jail. Yeah, unless, like, a genuine conversation is happening, um, like, a lot of just, like, the elements of uh, JoJo's Part 3, he'll talk, but, like, otherwise there's no real reason to. He's kind of silent protagonist until then. Yeah, I I think I prefer this than to him calling his mom a bitch. (laughs) The -the behind-the-back view of Jotaro makes him look like a fucking Roblox character. (laughs) (laughs) So was this game made by Rob Liefeld? Is that why there are no feet anywhere? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Also, so we're getting stopped on the way to school by a bunch of our uh, fellow classmates. And so we enter the battle system. Oh no, they're possessed by Dio. I understand the two girls disappearing as them falling down a hatch. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I, I'm just a big fan of these random punks going like, Oh, so ghosts like you, huh? You make me sick, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> so at the beginning of the fight, you have to pull a tarot card. 
and all of them are random and kind of cycle through a certain uh, number of the options, and they'll be like, your HP goes up or down, or like, your attack goes down, things like that. And so they'll affect your stats for this battle only. Did you have to- Anyways, we got a crit there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, um, you have, like, each stand has, like, two or three different animations that they could do that basically specifies how much damage they're doing. And also they do an attack if you dodge. <laughs> I like that this guy got hit by an invisible force, and still he's like, oh, I'm gonna get that Jotaro. <laughs> Wait, you took one MP of damage? Yeah, so there's an attack option, and then basically there's, like, another option that does, like, MP damage. So HP and MP are effectively just two different types of HP in this game. Mm. So if either of them goes to zero, you, um, you die. And so, like, basically MP is, like, stand power, effectively. And um, the way that uh, you attack that is basically you, like, throw insults at people. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just noticed, like, at the end of the fight, uh, the little uh, Jotaro face sprite down in the bottom, like, changed to a smirk, meaning, like, three pixels got shifted. But that's basically his battle stance, apparently. It's good. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that Kuragawa from uh, Yu Yu Hakusho? <laughs> Yeah, that's Kurabara. <laughs> Kurabara, sure. I'm sorry. How foolish of me. Yeah, he also transferred here after that crazy events in Yu Yu Hakusho. Oh my god. <laughs> so, um... I'm just wondering how much you uh, save stay to get the, the best cards. Oh, never. <laughs> um, so the talk is the, the thing that does MP damage. And see, so yeah, like like I said, you throw a taunt out, and it'll do damage if it hits. Um, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he doesn't have ears. But this introduces one of um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures like favorite things to do in this game. Um, there are a lot of fights that, like, for story reasons, if you don't win, right? Like, it's not a fight that like Jodoro wins in the story. It's just one that he has. You just have to wait for a while, and then eventually, like, the enemy will run away. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a time waster, and they just, like, dodge all your attacks until then. Like, see, now it's over. That story bit has been completed. I like that they at least have two different sprites for the girls and the delinquents. Yeah. Jotaro has just been staring into the camera this entire trip. <laughs> he's like, can you believe this? He's just oh. constantly staring like he's on the office. <laughs> it looked like somebody left a pizza in the sink. Like, I don't know. <laughs> when I was like the quiet kid in high school, people didn't think I was like a real big hunk. They thought I was a freak. I mean, did you wear a, a giant chain on your collar? Yes. So, the another thing about this game, there, there are a lot of fight mechanics, and none of them are really explained well or, like, tell you when you need to use them. But the check command uh, will unlock a, an extra a command in the RPG menu. And depending on your biorhythms and your speed, um, check either takes one turn to activate or two. In this case, it takes two turns, so you have to deal with this lady for two turns, attacking us with her awful words. Uh, oh! <laughs> you used the idea! <laughs> so yeah, once you get that, you can use tactics, which in certain fights, if you use idea, it does a thing from the uh, manga. So in this case, you rip the stand out of her body without hurting her. And got $200. Yes. 
Well, also $200 came out of her mouth. It was crazy. So I guess that's kind of... Like, I'm at least glad they did something to kind of represent how a lot of the fights are resolved in a, like, not just straightforward, I beat you, so now I win kind of way. Yeah, no, it's interesting. I just think it's, like, it's poorly explained when those things can happen. Yeah. Like, at a certain point, why are you even playing this video game? Why not just read the manga instead? <laughs> Well, this game does have a number of fundamental differences from the story, the original story, that I think make it, at the very least, like, worth looking at. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe, say, watching an LP as part of a duology. <laughs> right. Could you imagine? Like, yeah, I feel this is kind of an interesting game so far, especially because it doesn't really seem like... It's a great JRPG, necessarily. Oh, absolutely not. <laughs> like, this feels like one of those games where, like, some brain genius was like, Oh, I want to make the world's most ambitious JRPG of my favorite story. Uh, JoJo's <laughs> Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. And then someone asked, so what's the combat like? And he was like, combat? <laughs> <laughs> They fight with their brains, fool. <laughs> but yeah, I think, th like, you can see there's a lot of ambition in the fact that, like, every attack has, like, you know, these all these different animations and, like, display these different attacks. Like, sometimes um, Hierophant Green shoots out the emeralds, sometimes it's, like, the string, and all of those are, like, representative of the power of the attack they're doing. Oh, okay. I didn't realize it was, like, this is the more powerful, is whenever he punches three times. Yeah, no, if he punches more, that means you're doing more damage. Ma'am, why is Kakyoin walking around with $400? <laughs> Kakyoin's uh, level three, like, most powerful damage animation is him doing the thing with the cherry stem. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish. I was really hoping the check option in combat would be like a runaway, like it's Jotaro saying, check, please. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Jotaro infamously doesn't pay his checks. Oh, that's right. God. <laughs> yeah. What a criminal. <laughs> if he doesn't uh, agree with like the current government, he doesn't pay his taxes either. <laughs> That's right. Know your enemy and you know yourself. That's what Jotaro said. Remember, Jotaro, be sure to keep up to date with the latest of JoJo's Bizarre Adventures in Shonen Jump. <laughs> 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 so, um, when you go into the menu to, like, check something, you can specify which character checks something, and they become the character that's now on the screen as you're moving around. Okay. Is there, like, an actual gameplay difference between them? Can, like, can some characters only check some things? No. There's absolutely no reason for it. It just lets you swap through the characters. It allows you to see uh, Kakuin's weird Cheeto hair. I can't wait till <laughs> we get to where Iggy is our main playable character. Yes. Oh, buddy. No, th that's not that weird. <laughs> a classroom being studious, that sounds like bullshit. Everybody's, like, studying. Oh, this classroom is so weird. It's quiet and everyone is writing down on paper. What the hell's up with that? <laughs> There's something going on, on this, in this class. The teacher is talking about something called math. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when punks come into my uh, school and tell me that they work for Dio. <laughs> so yeah, like, there's a lot changed in this story to kind of fit it to, I guess, more of like a JRPG sort of storyline and everything. Um, in this particular case, like, Dio has just transformed a lot of people. <laughs> He's got a lot of people working for him. It was a big thing in uh, Japan to just go on Egypt vacations with your high school student <laughs> kids. 
Oops. <laughs> oh no, are you gonna rip out their guts? Yeah, like, you know, everyone in Japan went to Egypt for those six months just to see that 7-Up sign. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you get tactics, you have idea, which, again, depending on the fight, does something manga-specific. Or, if you do um, guts, it just has a better chance of doing a stronger attack. Okay. So, with I when I you use idea with a fight that didn't happen in the manga, is it just like oh they nothing happened? Yeah, it's literally just like uh, I don't know what to do, and it's like I didn't have an idea. Sorry, <laughs> it's just Jotaro had a brain fart. Kakyoin did an awkward <laughs> turtle. <laughs> Jotaro went on his phone to look up the hottest memes on Meme Center. Hey, it was the 80s. We called them jokes back then. <laughs> oh, sorry. He went to look up his favorite jokes in a joke book that he bought at the Scholastic Fair. <laughs> He's just reading Garfield comics saying, I too hate Mondays. <laughs> oh my god. They disappeared into the floor. See, uh, uh, someone's ripping the tongues out of uh, people in the school. Oh, got it. <laughs> Found them. Oh no, it's the creepy janitor. The flying bug. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Tio giving us all these good cards? I don't know. This is a foolish. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about you fuck off? <laughs> yeah, so for the fights where the only solution is to just wait it out, I am just going to be cutting them out because, like, there's just no reason. <laughs> oh, it actually is the creepy janitor. Unfortunately, we're disturbing class, so we gotta go clean the toilets. So, was the reason why the classroom was so quiet is because nobody had a tongue? Uh, probably. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I don't exactly remember... Wasn't that the one... Wasn't this the stand-up in the airplane? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they've, they've condensed a lot of the fights together in this story and cut a couple out uh, in order to fit the, the pace of the story better. I don't think I've ever seen a random battle in RPG where it's like, okay, for story reasons, you can't win. <laughs> so, uh, Greyfly, instead of being the world's best terrorist, is now just, like, a really pissed off janitor that goes <laughs> from school to school, just beating people up with a stand? Uh, legitimately, yes. <laughs> cool. That's, uh, I can appreciate that in some way. And so this game requires you to get that particular trigger in, like, the teacher's lounge. Because if you don't, you don't get to activate this fight. So it also has a lot of things where you're just, like, running around to figure out where the next thing is in this game. So, like, uh, this entire game takes place in the school and Dio's just hiding in the boiler room, right? <laughs> yeah. He's actually on the, um, the rumored uh, roof pool. So, um, right now, Kakyoin's biorhythm uh, requires him to wait uh, at least one turn before he's able to do, like, a normal attack. And this is something that will happen across the game, is, like, because of the way the biorhythms change and the way that the date system works, like, some characters just won't be able to take actions on their first move and sometimes their second move as well. Sorry, Jotaro, I'm just not feeling it today. <laughs> Mondays, am I, I right? I really wonder how they came to the idea that that would... Like, where do you even get the idea to introduce that into a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game? Right, like, 
the least thing you want to do in the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure game is punch the thing hard. I've got it. What if uh, Jotaro can't make a move because he's out of spoons? <laughs> So, in cases like this, where it's like, it's a full-blown boss fight, but you have, like, an idea you can activate, usually what that means is it just brings their defenses down, making all of your attacks do a lot more damage. Okay, so, basically, you have no hope of beating them without having an idea. Uh, you could, it's just way harder, and there's no reason to. <laughs> <laughs> I do like this Elseworld JoJo's Bizarre Adventure where all the problems are solved by just Jotaro punching really good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, now, sometimes Shikakion shoots rope, okay? So I know that there is at least one documented run out there where all they do is use the talk command to kill all of the enemies. <laughs> cool. <laughs> So they just kill them by doing psychic damage to them by calling them, like, ugly and stuff. And <laughs> JoJo's Bizarre Adventure really is the thinking man shonen. <laughs> Got him. Swatted him like a fly. So, do you actually get any new moves when you level up? Nope, not at all. Oh my god. Oh, so the combat is not going to change from this, huh? Mm-mm. You've seen the you've seen the totality of the uh of the fight system. God, great. this LP is going to be so cool. We're going to be so desperate. Our bits are going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, there he is. Did, also, did here's a good some go good away shit. the whole way or? Yeah. Yeah. Toilets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Watashi wa kind of sick freak would pick up a piece of shit. So you know, uh, speaking of toilets, we have a sponsor today, and it's called Skillshare. <laughs> Skillshare is a <laughs> site in which you can learn many skills possible, and from it, I learned how to use the toilets. <laughs> See, I learned everything from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure: Stardust Crusaders for the Super Nintendo. Ah, they don't give us money. Ah. Oh. Wait, did you make it home already? Yeah, they just teleported me home. Jotaro actually lives inside the school. After Kakuin is like, man, we really made a mess of this bathroom. Let's not clean it up. We just ran away. <laughs> yeah, he's like, that's the janitor's job. Oh, wait. <laughs> we have to stand chest to chest to speak to each other. Otherwise, it won't work. Well... How else will they assert dominance unless they T-pose right in front of each other? <laughs> Their hats touch when they talk. <laughs> That's how they communicate. Hat-based resonance. She doesn't look like she's hating it. I was really worried that entire scene was just going to be us looking at the chest of those three guys. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Jotaro's mom really has, like, a well-defined ass. I hate to say it. Oh, my yeah. God. Is that what you that, calmed down a little that. bit there, buddy? It's like I'm watching a Pixar movie. Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus Christ. The comments are gonna go well, and I'm gonna have to clear them up thanks to you, Jay. <laughs> Why does Aftal wear a necklace filled with tomato slices? <laughs> uh, the comments are gonna be, aw, oh, Kaku is my favorite character, I'm also a fellow MILF lover. <laughs> So, there is also a day system in this game. You have literally 50 in-game days to find Dio, otherwise you lose. Oh my god, it's like Shinmu. 
It's just like Shenmue. But we'll talk more about that next time, along with the rest of our new party members. <laughs> Why is Aftal's hair green now? It's always been green. What are you talking about? <laughs>